Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about one more concept that is lymphoid organs. Okay, children. Lymphoid organs. Immune system of an organism consists of okay immune system immune system of an organism okay immune system of an organism consists of several several consists of several structurally structurally and functionally structurally and functionally different different <coughs> organs different organs okay children and the tissues and tissues that are and the tissues that are okay children widely dispersed widely widely dispersed in the body dispersed in the body this part you have to remember okay children the organs next point the organs involved the organs involved in the the organs involved in the origin okay origin and maturation origin and maturation and proliferation proliferation okay children origin maturation and proliferation of lymphocytes are called of lymphocytes are called of lymphocytes are called lymphoid organs are called lymphoid organs lymphoid organs so based on their function based on their function based on their function okay children functions they are they are classified they are classified into they are classified into primary okay or central primary or central lymphoid organs primary or central lymphoid organs next children another important thing the secondary secondary or what we can say peripheral secondary or peripheral lymphoid organs peripheral lymphoid organs okay like this there will be that the primary lymphoid organs next the primary lymphoid organs the primary lymphoid organs the primary lymphoid organs provide provide appropriate appropriate Okay, children appropriate uh, what you call appropriate immune system okay or what you called antibodies this point you have to remember so provide environment for appropriate environment for okay children environment for lymphoidic maturation lymphoidic maturation means it will be mature lymphoidic lymphocytes will be mature the secondary lymphoid organs next one the secondary the secondary lymphoid organs the secondary lymphoid organs okay children the secondary lymphoid organs trap antigens trap antigens drop antigens and make it and make it available make it available okay children make it available for mature lymphocytes for mature lymphocytes for mature lymphocytes 
which can effectively which can effectively okay children which can effectively fight against these fight against these okay children fight against these antigens what you call antigens this point also you should have to remember fight against the antigens okay children now we are going to discuss about primary lymphoid organs what you call primary lymphoid organs we are going to discuss about primary lymphoid organs bursa of fabricus bursa of fabricus bursa of fabricus fabricus okay bursa of fabricus of birds of birds bone marrow bone marrow bone marrow and thymus bone marrow and thymus gland of thymus gland of mammals thymus gland of mammals okay children constitute constitute okay the primary the primary lymphoid organs lymphoid organs okay constitute the primary lymphoid organs involved involved in the involved in the production production and what is called early production and early selection of lymphocytes early selection of which one lymphocytes next important these lipo these lymphocytes these lymphocytes okay children these lymphocytes become dedicated to become dedicated to okay become dedicated to okay become dedicated to to a particular to a particular okay particular antigenic antigenic specificity antigenic specificity that point also you should have to remember only next point only when only when the lymphocytes mature lymphocytes mature only when the lymphocytes mature in the primary in the primary lymphoid okay only the lymphocytes mature in the primary lymphoid organs primary lymphoid organs primary lymphoid what i said organs okay children next point they mature in the primary lymphoid organs they become they become okay they become immunocompetent 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 okay children immunocompetent cells okay immunocompetent cells in mammals in mammals b cell b cell okay children maturation occurs b cell maturation occurs in the males b cell maturation <coughs> occurs in the bone marrow in the bone marrow okay children and t cells and t cells t cells means thymus cells maturation occurs t cells maturation occurs where it will be you know very well in the thymus okay children observe very carefully we are discussing the new concepts about in the immunity that is lymphoid organs what is lymphoid organs where the lymphocytes are immune cells where antibodies will be produced they are called 
lymphoid organs you know b cells t cells means what b means bone marrow t means thymus immune system of an organism consists of several structurally and functionally different organs structurally and functionally different organs and tissues that are widely dispersed in the body widely dispersed in the body the organs involved in the origin and the maturation the organs involved in the origin and the maturation and the proliferation of lymphocytes very very important proliferation b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes i said or not are called lymphoid organs are called lymphoid organs based on their function they are classified into primary or central lymphoid organs they classified into primary or central lymphoid organs next uh, secondary or peripheral lymphoid organs first category what primary or secondary lymphoid organs second category secondary peri or peripheral lymphoid organs the primary lymphoid organs provide appropriate environment for lymphatic maturation the primary lymphoid organs provide what proper environment environment for what lymphatic maturation maturation okay the secondary lymphoid organs trap antigens and make it available for mature lymphocytes which can effectively fight which can effectively fight against the antigens so maturation in the primary lymphoid organs fighting in the secondary lymphoid organs will be takes place the primary lymphoid organs number 1 bursa fabricus number 2 bone marrow number 3 thymus gland like, like the glands are there constitutes the primary lymphoid organs constitute involved in the production and early selection of which one lymphocytes which one bone marrow thymus gland and also bursa fabriscus in the birds these lymphocytes become dedicated to a particular antigen so particular lymphocytes will act particular antigen so that's why they are called antigenic specificity only when the lymphocytes mature in the primary lymphoid organs they become immunocompetent they will fight um, after maturity only they will ready to fight immunocompetent cells in mammals b cells maturation occurs in the bone marrow you know b means what b means my means bone marrow and t t maturation mean t means thymus okay children like this what is called the lymphoid organs are there okay children now we are going to discuss about the thymus first lymphoid organ in the mammals what is called that one thymus in the humans first lymphoid organ is there what is called that is thymus that one we are going to discuss what is called thymus what are the thymus 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 okay children we are going to discuss about thymus first point thymus is the thymus thymus is a thymus is a flat flat and bilobed flat and bilobed organ thymus is a flat and bilobed organ located located behind okay located behind the which one sternum this point you have to remember next and above the heart and where it will be above the heart this will be present each lobe of thymus next one each lobe of thymus each lobe of thymus okay contains contains numerous numerous okay e numerous lobules so lobules are present next separated from separated separated from each other separated from each other by okay children each other by what do you call connecting tissue connective tissue connective tissue called 
connective tissue called septa. What do you call that is? Septa. This point we have to remember. Each lobule, each lobule is differentiated into, is differentiated. Each lobule is differentiated. Okay, children, each lobule is differentiated into two compartments. What do you call? Two compartments. What are the two compartments? The first one is outer compartment. The outer compartment is. What is outer compartment is? Or it is also called outer cortex. What do you call? Outer cortex. The second one is there. What do you call the second one? This outer cortex we have to write. Densely packed with. The outer cortex what? Densely packed. Densely packed with. What do you call? Densely packed with. Immature. What do you call? Immature T cells. Immature T cells called. <coughs> T cells called okay thymocytes. What are called? Thymocytes. Mature T cells are called thymocytes. Okay, children. This point you have to remember. It stimulates the it stimulates the okay. It stimulates the T cells T cells to become to become okay mature to become mature and immuno what do you call immuno competent ready to fight immuno competent okay children this is important immuno competent by by the early teens by the by the early Teens. Okay, children, listen very carefully by the early teens. The thymus, next one. The thymus, what you called? The thymus. Okay, the thymus is begins to, begins to atrophy. Begins to atrophy and is, and is replaced. And is replaced by adipose tissue. Replaced by which one? Adipose tissue. Okay, children. Thus, thymus is. Thus, thymus is very important. Most active. Most active during. Recall most active during the neonatal. What do you call? Neonatal and neonatal and pre what you call pre adolescent pre adolescent or periods pre adolescent periods okay children so like that thymus will be there so if you see the structure of thymus what will be there two lobes will be there like this okay two lobes will be there and what you call many lobules are there okay many lobules are there these are lobules are separated what i said septa okay children this is called lobule what you call lobule so like that thymus will be there the location near that heart you know behind the sternum it will be present next one what is the next one it is called bone marrow. Bone marrow is a, a lymphoid tissue. Bone marrow is which one? A lymphoid tissue. Okay. Found within the, found with, in the, found within the, where the spongy portion, spongy portion, okay, spongy portion of the bone spongy portion of the bone the bone marrow will be present bone marrow contains next point bone marrow contains bone marrow contains okay bone marrow contains stem cells stem cells 
known as stem cells known as hemopoietic cells what are called hemopoietic hematopoietic not hemo hemato what are called poietic hematopoietic cells okay children hematopoietic cells these cells okay these cells have okay these cells have what are called the potential the potential okay the potential to multiply the potential to multiply through cell division through which one cell division through cell division and either and <coughs> what you call either remain <coughs> remain as stem cells stem cells or differentiate what you call differentiate <coughs> differentiate and mature and mature into what you call different kind of different kind of you know very well which one blood cells different kind of blood cells okay children observe very carefully about this one the lymphoid organs we are discussing in that first one what is that one thymus thymus is a flat first thymus where located uh, where what is the thymus it's a flat and bilobed bilobed means two lobes are there very flat organ located where it is located behind the sternum you know breast bone is there where the ribs are attached so behind the sternum and above the heart this is the first one where the thymus located behind the sternum and above the heart each lobe of thymus contains numerous lobules so many lobules are there they separated from each other by connective tissue called septa so many lobules are there they will be connected by a connecting tissue called septa got it okay each lobule is differentiated into two compartments so outer compartment what you called cortex densely packed with what is outer cortex compartment contain outer cortex contains densely packed with immature t cells called thymocytes what are called thymocytes each lobules okay numerous lobules each lobule is differentiated into two compartments what are those outer compartment or outer cortex outer cortex contains densely packed with immature t cells called thymocytes what are called thymocytes very important they secrete the what are called thymosin okay is also very important thymosin thymocytes next thymosin is a hormone it stimulates the what are called this thymocytes or thymosin stimulates the t cells to become mature and immunocompetent very very important so the thymus main function what the mature that uh, outer cortex have this one now the cortex stimulates the t cells to become mature and immunocompetent by the early teens and okay early teens early teens means now 10 11 12 13 14 14 like that such years okay the thymus begins to atrophy most important term neat bit the thymus begins to atrophy means when the age is increasing the thymus size will become reduced and will disappear and replace it by which one it seems adipose tissue the thymus is most active during the children pre adolescent periods before adolescent period thymus more active means the t cells production will be more if you see the thymus structure there will be lobes two lobes like this and in each lobule lobules are there lobules are separated by septa these are lobules next come to the bone marrow bone marrow is a lymphatic tissue found within the spongy portion of the bone this is important which portion spongy portion of the bone bone marrow contains stem cells known as 
hematopoietic cells. What are you called? Hematopoietic cells. These cells have the potential to multiply through one cell division and either remain on stem cells. Okay, these cells have the potential which one to multiply through cell division. So hematopoietic cells, no, they will be multiplied through mitosis, either remain in stem cells as a or either divide or as a remains like a stem cells and differentiate and mature into different kind of blood cells. You know what kind of blood cells RBC, WBC. Like that they will be and uh, types of WBC you know very well. Like that there will be mature especially here the immune cells what you call they will be called B cells. B cells means bone marrow cells. Okay children so like that there will be lymphoid organs are there in our body. There will be lymphoid organs are there in our body so next lymphoid organ also will be there what is a lymphoid organ okay so next lymph node uh, secondary lymphoid we are going to discuss about what is called secondary what i said secondary lymphoid organs secondary lymphoid so lymphoid organs now we are going to discuss about which one secondary lymphoid organ secondary lymphoid organs okay children the first point in this the secondary or periphery lymphoid organs okay what you call secondary lymphoid organs are also called very peril lymphoid organs peripheral lymphoid organs okay children now what is this one antigens is what will happen in this antigen okay is localized antigen is localized so that so that it can be so that it can be okay effectively what I said effectively okay children exposed exposed to exposed to mature mature lymphocytes mature lymphocytes the best examples the best examples the best examples are lymph nodes the best examples are lymph nodes number one number two appendix what are you called appendix number three pairs patches pairs patches number three pairs patches number four pairs patches where it will be present of gastro git what is that one gastrointestinal tract Next, tonsils. Number five, what you called adenoids. Adenoids, tonsils, and what I said, adenoids. Next, spleen. Spleen. Next, malt. Okay, what is the malt full name? The malt the full name is mucus. What he called mucosal uh, mucosal associated mucosal associated lymphoid tissue mucosal associated lymphoid tissue number one number two gut what he called gut associated gut associated lymphoid tissue gut associated lymphoid tissue next bald what you called bald bald means what bronchial okay bronchial or tracheal okay tracheal associated associated lymphoid what you called tissues lymphoid tissues okay children like this there will be 
the secondary lymphoid organs are there. Okay, children. The secondary lymphoid organs are also called what I said peripheral lymphoid organs. What I said peripheral lymphoid organs. Here antigen is localized. Antigen will be trapped here so that it can be it can be effectively exposed to which one? Mature lymphocytes. So fighting will be takes place between the antigen and that is lymphocytes. The best examples are lymph nodes, number one, lymph nodes, appendix, layers, patches, so lymphatic tissue in the gastrointestinal tract, tonsils, you know, lymphatic tissues only, adenoids, spleen, okay, spleen also, lymphoid, secondary lymphoid organs. Next, malt, mucus, mucosal associated lymphoid tissue, very important need bit, mucus associated lymphoid tissue next gut gut associated lymphoid tissue these two are important next bald bronchi or tracheal associated lymphoid tissue they will traps the germs and the mature lymphocytes will be fight against to the these things tomorrow we will discuss about what we will discuss in the tomorrow we will discuss about lymph node very effectively Okay, children, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are going to meet with the lymph node. Thank you.